and welcome to yet another episode of The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Uh, this time, however, we're gonna go back in time. As you know, we started on episode 2 to stream this. Oh, hi Alexis, how you doing today? Having fun today? Are you going to enjoy this episode? Basically, the idea here... Okay, that was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> The idea here is that I started streaming this game on episode 2. But this game is like the Ace Attorney Investigations where everything is interconnected in a way. So even if we started here, we still have one episode and one very good first case episode that we have not uh, seen together. While I already have seen this one, this is still something that I want to show to you. Because this is... Oh god, it's so good, and I'm very sure that this is gonna take me two episodes to go through. The Adventure of the Great Departure might be one of the most amazing first cases that I have seen in the whole series. And let me tell you, it's amazing. The Empire of Japan. After opening its doors, a push for cultural transformation brought great waves of Western influence to this far Eastern Island nation. The revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. But for one man, the turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. <sighs> this is our protagonist. You already know him. This is the adventure of the Great Departure. I don't like that name because, eh, the departure is later. He's still to be honest. 22nd November, 8.43 a.m. Supreme Court of Judicatory... Judicat... How do you even read that? Judicator. Supreme Court of Judicatory Defendants and the Chamber number 5. I still can't believe it. I still can't believe that this is happening. How can it be that just beyond the doors to this quiet little chamber is the highest court in Japan waiting to decide my fate? Oh, no, nothing. Did you glare, murderer? <laughs> oh god, I already started making weird poses. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. My name is Ryonosuke Naruhodo. Try saying that three five times fast. <laughs> I'm a second year student at the Imperial Jumei University. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a hor horrifying incident. Now, here I am, awaiting my trial. That's enough! He's not obliged to listen to such abuse, officer. And who are you? Hmm, maybe a bit more high. I'm this man's lawyer. I'll be defending, defending him today. Lawyer? Yes, and until the judge has given his verdict on the case, no one has the right to treat him as a criminal. So you will hold your tongue! <laughs> Technicalities! Look at you, you haven't even graduated yet! And yet, I still seem to know better than you how a court officer should behave. Right, Ryonosuke? Oh! Yes, of course! Sorry! What are you apologizing to me for? Oh, I, uh, no! I suppose that wasn't my fault. <laughs> oh god, I just remember that I connect with Ryanosuke because he apologizes so much. But really, Kazuma, I never meant to drag you into this. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> there you go again, apologizing. Just like always. Oh. Oh. Though I must say, you've been all over the newspapers these past few days. You may university professor murdering cold blood by students. But obviously, you didn't actually do it, did you? Of course not! You have to believe me! I didn't do it! I... I could never murder someone. Then there's nothing to worry about. Straighten yourself up. Hold your head high. You mean... I believe you. I know you're innocent, Rinosuke. That's a good thing. Kazuma Asugi, my best friend. Also in his second year at Jumei University. But he's far more clever than I. A star student, in fact. He's even qualified. He's even a qualified lawyer. Impressive, considering that he's still an undergraduate. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? Impressive, in considering that he's still an undergraduate. It's not that impressive. The very concept of lawyers is only a few years old. Here in Japan, anyway. My qualifications don't mean much yet. You said it's like. Well. <laughs> You said exactly the same thing three days ago. But I'm proud to have a friend like you, Kazuma. Truly. Three days ago. Yes, that's when all this started. Congratulations, Kazuma! It looks like you're going to get a, the study up to study... Ugh. Pick your lines with care, Shingo. It looks like you're going to get the study abroad at last! I know! I've been... I've for been forever dreaming of this day! Finally, those government officials have acknowledged my academic achievements and successes in court! That you'll be representing Japan in your, in, in, as you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated leg... That you'll be representing Japan as you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated legal system in the world! What is these words? <laughs> I'm really happy for you! I'm proud as your friend! There's not a soul in the university who doesn't know Kasuma's name. He's a living legend. It's like there's some mysterious aura below. Oh my god! It's like there's some mysterious aura bellowing around his temple. I want to bring about change in our own legal system. That's why I have to cross the ocean to see the real thing with my own eyes. The heart of the British Empire. I wish you could see it too. Then come with me. We have a wild time clearing up the streets of Her Majesty's city of London together. If only we're that simple. Oh dear, look at the time. I'd better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a while longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow then. Partner? Aww. This kinda feels just can Narukamish. With a little bit of a strap. <laughs> it was straight after that. That's when it happened. Asugi, may I have a word? I like how I can actually tell who's talking so I can just make voices from before. I'm not gonna have that same luxury with case 4 once I go there. Dear Lord, Case 3 ended up in a weird, incredibly cool way. But for now, let's focus on the past. Asuki, may I have a word? I already read that. Professor, I didn't know you were coming. <laughs> well, this case has personal significance to me. But never mind that for now, Asuki. You should go immediately to the judge's chamber. To his excellency chambers? Why? He was looking for you before. You advocating for the defense in this trial was a sudden decision. It seems there may be some confusion about procedures today as a result. Who is this man? I feel as though I've seen him at the university before. I see. I'll go at once then. I shall accompany you. Alright then, Rinosuke. I'll see you in the courtroom. Yes. Thanks, Kasuma. <laughs> hmm. Uh, the 
Is this awkward? If I may. Yes, sorry? You must be the defendant, Ryonosuke Naruhodo, I believe. Yes, yes, that's right! My name is Yujin Mikotoba. I'm a professor at forensic medicine at Jumei University. Ah, Professor Mikotoba! I've heard that name from Kasuma before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kasuma's studying abroad. But that's right, he was the one that actually got him that permission. Asugi has told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand. <laughs> I really like those ones. <laughs> As such, I feel you should know. Uh, know what? Well, as you know the pair, Asuki has been granted permission to go and study in Great Britain. However, if he should fail to defend you in today's trial, I'm afraid that the permission, I'm, I'm afraid that that permission will be revoked and never granted again. I don't understand why this is happening, but okay. What? Ah, as I suspected. You were unaware of this. I had a feeling Asugi may have chosen not to tell you. <gasps> is that to defend me knowing that if he fails his dreams will be shattered? That is a lot of commitment from a friend. But I don't understand, why would the government do such a, do such a thing? The administration has to choose from a large number of applicants for overseas study. If I remember correctly, this is on a near the ideal period or during it, or during it. So the connection to England is incredibly new at this point in time. I have seen this happen in many series, including um, Rurouni Kenshin. It's very difficult to persuade them to grant permission, even in the most favorable of circumstances. I don't believe it. But I... I didn't do it! I swear it! I'm not a murderer! I'm sure that's true. Nevertheless, I can assure you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. Um, I can assure you... Okay, I actually mentioned it correctly. You see, there are certain... <clears throat> peculiarities about today's trial. Uh, sorry? What do you mean? You'll soon understand once proceedings get underway. But then what should I do? Well, naturally, I'm not going to suggest doing anything that could lead to a conviction. Yeah, this feels incredibly suspicious. Even on a second glance. Right, so, as soon as the trial starts, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When that happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say, I do. You're married. <laughs> of course not, but I actually find this hilarious. I do? No, we're married. Uh, come on! <laughs> but what will the question be? Surely not, um... Did you accept the accusations brought before you? <laughs> Of course not. Defendant! Court is about to begin. Proceed to the courtroom at once. Ah, oh, it would seem more surrep... It would seem more surreptitious discussions are to be cut short. So allow me to summarize. Kasuma Asagi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Uh, of course, as a defendant, the final decision is true. What are you waiting for? Do you want to be found guilty for failing to appear? Get moving! There's no point in anyone advocating for the likes of you, anyway! Ugh. This... this is it! If this tries to go badly, I'll never see color again! <laughs> Kazuma's dreams of studying abroad are over, and what's more, I'll be found guilty of murder. And, s and so, with absolutely no idea of what lay ahead, I embarked on that unforgettable trial. And actually, it's very, very, very good. I know that I'm saying this a lot, but you don't know what it's coming. My one and only chance of proving my innocence 
the trial that would decide my destiny. I really, really, really enjoy this case, and it's amazing. I, 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 I it's amazing. <laughs> what did you say, Chicha? <laughs> I am not a drug, <laughs> guys. I'm not a drug. Although I really would like the fact that you want to watch me playing, guys. So this is a card room. I like how incredibly nervous he looks, looking around and everything. The Supreme Court of Judicature. Judicature. How did you even say that? <sighs> the Supreme Court of Judicature. No court in the land has more power. I don't much like the look of those people sitting in the public gallery. You know, I hadn't noticed their designs until now. Lots of military and other uniforms in there. The powers... The powers that be have demanded that this be a secret trial. A secret trial? A trial that's close to ordinary members of the public. Only military and government officials may attend. What? But why? It'll become... It'll become clear in time. But for now... You need to concentrate, Rinosuke. It's about to begin. <laughs> I really like that thing. It's very similar and still old fashioned. Which means that it's just a pain. <laughs> oh boy. This is a different judge from the one in England. <clears throat> Let's see. The court will now hear the trial of Ryonosuke Naruto. Today, and it's gonna be hard to do. The trial. The court will now hear the trial of Ryunosuke Narufodo. I think that that sounds better. The prosecution is ready, Your Excellency. I'm sorry, but it's a pain. Most of the pains speak like this, guys. This is the defense. Before we begin, there is one point of orders I would like to come point of order I would like to confirm. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last minute request for a change of advocate. That's correct, Your Excellency. I made the request myself. Normal procedure is for the defendant's advocacy to be decided two days prior to trial. As this is an unusual circumstance, I am obliged to ask for final confirmation now. Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? Basically, who represents the defense? I know that I, actually it took me a while to understand what he had settled the first time, so this is it. This is it! This must be the question! They sound like a fucking weasel, I agree. Who's going to defend me? That's the question the professor meant. But then, if I say I do... I need to answer quickly. What should I do? Okay, okay. The first time I played this, I went for my answers, like a normal case. But apparently there are some alternate answers that I can give just to give, to make some memes, or just to have fun. Normally, you would go with I do, but let's go with wait and see. Kasuma is a lawyer here. I can defend myself. Uh, if I say I do... <laughs> I really like that face. If I say I do, it would be tantamount to lying. And I've been a case of murder, for godness sake. This is no time for lies. Try to stop fidgeting, Rinosuke. It's distracting. But if I don't say I'll defend myself now, things could end very badly for my friend. Your Excellency, no confirmation is needed. This is actually where the other scene started, so it's the same but with more dialogue. As I'm standing here beside the defendant, I hope it's clear yes. who will at what? What? <laughs> I am Naruho the Ryusuke, and I am a good boy! What is the meaning of this unruly outburst? 
I... I would like to inform the court that... that... I, Ryonosuke Naruhodo, will be defending myself! You'll be... What?! <laughs> what are you playing at, Ryonosuke? Professor Makotova told me everything, just now, before the trial. He did what?! He said that your dreams of studying abroad would be dashed if you were to lose. How sad. It means you don't have faith in me. I feel bad when he says that. You think I won't be able to get you off? You're 31. You're 31. Think before you say something dumb. You're 31. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. No, it's not that, really. It's just that... Well, on the off chance that things don't go well for me, I couldn't bear to be the reason that you... You... Yes. I knew that's how you'd feel. Which is exactly what I decided not to tell you. <laughs> Professor Mikotoba shouldn't have stuck his nose in. I like how mad he is. Very well. The decor hereby recognizes the defendant's desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Well, well. <clears throat> Does the accused admit defeat already? Renouncing his own counsel, really? Objection! Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent, he's confident he can speak for himself. Isn't that the, Isn't that so, naruhodo san uh, 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 what? what? Uh, oh, yes, exactly! <laughs> exactly what I wasn't thinking! I'm not confident at all! <sighs> in fact, my mind's a complete blank. I realize you're in charge now, but still. Try not to look so bewildered. <laughs> mm. Well, for a mere university student to be brought before the Supreme Court, you must have perpetrated the most heinous crime indeed! Oh god, where is my fan? <laughs> I need that fan! As you are no doubt aware, this is the Supreme Court of Judicature. 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 Yeah, when you're not an English speaker, this is a very hard word to say. Of Japan. Accordingly, the very highest standards of conduct are ex expected of all present. Do I make myself clear, Defendant Naruhodo? Yes, Your Excellency! It is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you have undertaken. My competence? What does that mean? He's questioning your ability to do the job. Well, he can be questioning it more than I am. So, let's start with, a, with the very simplest of questions. Oh, um, yes! <laughs> Kindly state before the court the name of the victim in this case. Oh boy! Well, that's enough. I've heard this name many more times than I care to remember. Every single time this question has been come up in every single case attorney, it's been funny as heck. Like, amazing, like, it's just hilarious. Especially if you get, get it wrong. But, wait! Uh, I'm so nervous I can't even remember that! What was it again? Ryunosuke? Let me guess. Your mind's going blank? Uh, you know me so well. All the relevant information for this case can be found in the court record. Uh, I'm gonna share this for myself. Sure, BF. Oh. Oh, it's because I'm interacting as. Oh, okay. Just give me a second because I really want to show this to my friends. It's very fun. I really enjoy this game. There it is. Wow, a weasel. What are you talking about, Alexis? <laughs> okay, share no friends. There it is. But I can't even find that! It's simple. 
You can access a cool record with the Prism Knot. Hmm. That's it. Hey, there it is. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Angel Montaño presents a like as evidence. Thank you for the like and for making me making sure that my widgets still work. <laughs> It's simple. You can access the core record with the press of an of R. If you find you've forgotten something, just console that. It's all in there. I just have to press R for the core record? Alright, there's no time to lose. This is a list of evidence you've collected. Now try switching to people instead with R. You'll find details about the victim in here. When you're done, just press B to go back. So remember. Everything to do with the current case can be found in the court record. Including people. Now, you'd better not keep His Excellency waiting any longer. Go on. Find the victim in the people section of the court record, then press X to present it. Try it now. Okay, this is John H. Wilson, age 47. He is the victim in this case, and he was a visiting professor of medicine at Jimin University from the British Empire. As a matter of fact, this character has his name changed. This is known other in the original version than John H. Watson from the Watson from the Sherlock Holmes series. He is the victim in this case. But for now, let's say that somebody else is a murderer. This is Taketsuchi Auchi, the ancestor of Winston Payne. One of the most common um, tutorial prosecutors in the series. The lead prosecution force of this case who would appear to have little love for the changes the cultural reformation has brought about. Basically, he's a Japanese boomer. <laughs> yes! Yes! Um, the, the victim was no other than Takitsuchi. <laughs> then who's the uptight best spectacle top not standing opposite? Best spectacle top knot? Uh, uh, sorry. For some reason that just came out, even though I know it's wrong. Perhaps you're unaware that I'm a master of the ancient no style sword art. Oh, I thought that it was. I thought that it said no sword the first time, but I just realized that it's a freaking pun. No style. Little China, you would be sliced to pieces before you even came close to taking my life. I wouldn't provoke that proud Edo spirit. He might draw his blade on you. I, I thought Corum's parent was supposed to be done with wars. Oh my god. I must. I must. I must say. You are not instilling the core with much confidence here. Quickly, give him the correct answer before he turns his cabal on you. And stop saying the prosecution is dead! Uh, 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 yes. Kazuma! The, the victim was known other than Kazuma Asuki! Oh? Then why is that pompous looking boy with the billowing headband still there standing next to you? Oops! Oops! Doesn't do that justice! Not content with having killed Dr. Watts. Oh, sorry. Dr. Wilson, now you're claiming my murder as well? I haven't killed anyone! Then concentrate and actually read the core record before you answer! What is wrong with you? That was not even something that you had to say from the core record! That's something that is obvious! I'm standing next to you! Give him the correct answer before I choke you! Or present me again! Come on! Keep killing this case! Yes! Um, the victim's name is Stop! Just stop. Did you just see a random name that you came across in the car record, aren't you? Um, how did you guess? <laughs> it's blatantly obvious. From your wide eyed look of bewilderment, I need this picture. <sighs> Come on, you're still. You only have one option left. Just choose. They picked him already. Yes, please stop butchering this case. It's ridiculous. Yes! <laughs> the victim's name was 
Dr. John H. Wilson. <laughs> well, at least you can remember the name of an esteemed member of your own university. You know, after running out of options. <laughs> Dr. Wilson was a visiting professor from England, invited to Jume University three years ago. Hmm. Indeed. Which is the reason? Indeed. Which is the reason why this case had such profound. <laughs> Why do you need that six pack of Baja? <laughs> of Baja Blast, Chicho? You're gonna come to the Juarez just to get those? That would be really cool to do, to be honest. But I hope that the borders are already open by the time that you come. Right now, I cannot even go myself to El Paso. Anyway. Indeed, which is the reason why this case has such profound implication? <laughs> the British Empire. Is at present our country's most valuable foreign ally. Oh boy. International diplomacy. On the 7th of what? And as most of you will be aware, we have just signed a new treaty together after lengthy ne negotiations. There can be anyone who hasn't heard of the Anglo Japanese Treaty of French for Navigation. Give me a second, please. There can be anyone who hasn't heard of the Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Bridge by Navigation. And yet, despite these delicate circumstances, the blood of an English man has been split on our soul. Uh, spilt. Wow, that's a very weird one to say. You two are both undergraduates at the Imperial Jumei University, are you not? Murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education? Have you no honor? Uh, but I didn't do it! This case is coming under great scrutiny from our allies on the other side of the world. I like speaking with the judges a bit slower than normal. Maybe because I normally think of them being wiser and older. But I don't know if that's something normal. The court, therefore, wishes for a speedy resolution to this matter. Hmm. In other words, our feeble government is scared of upsetting England's policymakers. And you're a convenient and expendable scapegoat to blame for this crime. But that's why this trial has these initial peculiarities, is it? Exactly! Our government needs to convict someone as quickly as possible. All because the victim was an Englishman. Yes. Dr. Ink Wilson was an Englishman. This is the first time in a quite a while, or more like, this is the first time ever that the Ace Attorney series translator has respected the fact that the characters are from Japan. There's, that's even the reason why the main character is called Phoenix Wright, and the characters travel to, travel to Germany or Europe instead of going to United States like they normally do in the original series. But in this case, it's definitely between Japan and England. But nationality and treaties won't make any difference for me here. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time. I'd better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a little longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. Um, see you in English class tomorrow, then, partner. Yep. The British Empire. Oh, it's so incredible to think. Huh? Wait. And there it is. I've seen that man at the university. I'm sure he's a visiting. I'm sure he's a visiting professor from Great Britain. 
I would find it very easier to say England. Because I actually have never mentioned Great Britain on my own. It kind of feels like I mentioned it wrong. I don't know his name, but still, I should go and say hello. There's that Japanese courtesy. So I went over to the professor's table. God. I identify so much with Ryanosuke, he's so nervous. <laughs> the shittiest empire? Really, Chicha? <gasps> Don't say that! You're gonna be banned from Facebook for saying something so mean-spirited. <laughs> and introduce myself to Dr. Wilson. Now then. Let me pose my next question to you, Defender Narukodo. Yes, Your Excellency! How did this professor of medicine, Dr. John H. Wilson, lose his life? State before the court the cause of death. The cause of death? Well, obviously that was... Um... Okay. This is the post-mortem report. It says that the death occurred at little after 2 p.m. and was caused by lost blood from a gunshot to the chest. The bullet did not pass through the victim's body. And... that's it! Literally that's it! And this is our badge. Well, not exactly our badge. <laughs> ah, tiene sentido, chicho. No estás diciéndolo con la intención de ofender realmente, sino de hacer memes. Aunque bueno... <laughs> Ya una vez me pasó a mí por decir algo. Well, obviously that was, um... Bionosuke? Remember that in court, every assertion must be backed up by evidence. By evidence? But, but how? Give me a second, please. Yeah, the bad thing about this is getting interrupted quite a lot. Okay! So, as we were saying, find the piece of evidence, evidence that shows the professor's cause of death and select percent. Do it now! Should we meme again? Yes! Yes! The evidence that clearly shows the victim's cause of death is, of course, this! And on what basis do you present this evidence? Well, um, because it wasn't the correct record, of course! Slow down! Why did you pick that? Isn't there something more relevant looking? Uh, well, now that you say that, I suppose that my university color pin is certainly not the thing that killed that professor. Pick the wrong evidence, piece of evidence again, and I won't be the... <sighs> pick the wrong piece of evidence again, and it won't be a mystery as to your cause of death. Yikes, he sounds and looks deadly serious. Find a piece of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death and select percent. Do it now. Okay, yes. okay, it's a first monster Um, well... According to this document, the big ticks suffer a... hemorrhagic death due to a gunshot trauma. Learn to read, imbecile! That's the post-mortem report, I take it? Sorry! Yes, that's right! The, um... Post-mortem report! <laughs> in the West, a doctor dissects corpses to identify the cause of death in an autopsy. But here in Japan, 
A police officer merely inspects the body and draws conclusions that way. Oh, I see. As long as I'm not going to be tested for any of this later. <laughs> this is a so-called photographic print of the scene of the crime. You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by the power explosion. In other words, we should ass Oh, in other words, you should assume that the victim was shot at close range. Hmm. Thank you, Council. The court will accept this modern scientific evidence into their into the record. We have the highest technology from all of Japan over here in this picture. It took like three days just to develop this picture, which is exactly the amount of time that it took for this crime to occur in the first place. And just having some fun with that because I mean, it's hilarious the fact that this is the most modern thing right at that moment. It is the best after all. A photographic print of the actual incident. So that's a photographic print. Well, that's something I've never seen before. They don't even call. We're not even calling it a photo yet. It's clearly superior to a drawing. The detail is incredible. Very well. I am satisfied with your answers. Let us start the trial. Certainly, Your Excellency. So, without further ado, in order to better apprise the court with the facts of this case, the prosecution hereby calls its first witness, who was there at the scene of the crime when it happened. Uh, this is it then. Hmm. I think I may have worked out what the professor had in mind. The professor? You mean Dr. Mikatoba? Yes. Clearly, you're the defense lawyer today, not me. But that doesn't mean... Well, I can still act as your assistant. Of course! When he was speaking with me before, he simply said Kasuma Asogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Hmm. He really has st been sticking his oar in, hasn't he? What is an oar? Maybe, but... But... Any help you can give me would be greatly appreciated, Kazuma. Well, my first piece of advice is rein in that crazy look of bewilderment and control the cold sweats, man! Only if you rein in that crazy headband and control the cold stairs first. Okay. Witness, state your name and occupation for the court, please. Of course. My name is Satoru Hosonaga. I don't even know if this is the voice that I already gave Hosonaga before. But for now, I am the head waiter at a western style restaurant called La Carnival. <coughs> Actually, I don't even know if I need to voice that one. I mean, it's coughing. Um, are you alright? You seem to be coughing up some herb. <laughs> it's a regular occurrence. It really doesn't bother me. Well, it really, really should. As everyone here knows, the capital southeastern quarter was developed for foreign visitors some years ago. It's become a very fashionable district now, full of hotels to accommodate overseas guests. This green crime occurred in one of the district's so-called restaurants, an occidental eatery, three days ago. Eatery? That's a very way, weird way of saying it. Understood. Hosonaga-san, you will kindly tell the court everything you can about the incident. At once, sir. And no pity interjection from the Spine Lawyer boy, please. Oh, um... Perspiring maybe, but aspiring? It 
quest. It was just after 2 p.m. on the day in question. We have few diners at that time of day. The lunchtime rush was over. There were only three tables still occupied. That fits in with my memory of it too. There was hardly anyone else in the place. It was when I was in the kitchen putting away crockery and cutlery. A gunshot rang out, so I hurried out to the dining area to see what had happened. I found the victim, an English gentleman, slumped in his chair, and standing immediately beside him, gun in hand, was the accused university student. Yes! Hold on, let me just clarify something here. While I did pick up a gun that I found lying on the floor beside the professor, I... I didn't show him! Objection! You see now why I made that voice for him? I believe I asked you to refrain from pity interjections! <laughs> the car wishes to listen to the witness's report of what he saw, you amateur! But the next time you interrupt at an inappropriate time, you will be penalized, defend Narukodo. Don't worry, Inosuke. You have just chance to fight back. For now, we must just quietly listen to the witness. Uh. If I may confirm what point, waiter. Standing beside the victim with a gun in his hand, was the same man we see here in court today? <coughs> yes, without question. I see. And apart from the accused, was there anyone else standing beside the victim? Hmm, maybe have something a bit more rough? No. There was no one else around that table but the deceased Englishman and the university student. That sounds a bit better. Huh? Wait, what did he just say? There was no one else around that table? <gasps> What's the matter, Rinosuke? That's... that's just not right! When I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello, <laughs> there was a woman sitting opposite him at, this, at his table. Really? And that's not something the waiter could have missed. I've been warned about interjecting, but still, what should I do? Yes! Just a moment, please. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone that day. I'm sure of it. There was a lady sitting with him at the same table. Objection! Dear me, dear me! What are we going to do with you? With your plan and disregard for court proceedings, I'm beginning to wonder if you're not a fraud. Could it be that the accused, this mere student, is not a real lawyer after all? Well, to be fair, he's not. But I'm sure of what I saw! Osonagasan, is there any chance you're mistaken? Perhaps your memory of events is hazy. No. The deceased gentleman came to dine alone. I don't believe it! I actually have a rough plan of the restaurant as it was that day. Please have a look if you'd like to. L let me see. Ah, a sketch of the establishments lie on draw by your sofa, I presume. That's right. I'm afraid I used the back of my business card. It was a uh, turbulent situation. However, as you can see, the gentleman in question was seated alone. I actually don't see anything in this card. Even now, I don't. I still don't see anything. Well, you're clearly a very consci conscientious waiter. 
Thank you, sir. The core will take this plan and add it to the core record as evidence. Uh, um, uh, well... Is there a problem? I'm the plant record officer at once! Um, uh, of course. Of course, here you are. What was that about? He's been completely calm and collected until now. <coughs> Something certainly seems to have shaken him. The waiter's business card has been entered into the core record. <coughs> so... The court has now heard the precis of the case. Yes, at the moment the gunshot was heard in the restaurant. The only person in close proximity to the victim was the defendant on trial today. It would seem we are looking at a black and white case here. Eh, this is a classic case attorney one. Defendant Nerujodo. Yes, Your Excellency? If you admit your guilt at this stage, the court is willing to look mercifully upon you. In other words, you may have some small reprieve in terms of your inevitable... 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 <laughs> I hate these words. Inevitable punishment. I call these waiters an unswerved witness in order to explain the details of the case to the court. But I must warn the defense. You are determined to pursue matters further in this trial. The prosecution has decisive evidence from sworn witnesses who were present at the scene of the crime. What do you think I should do, Kasuma? What do you mean? Well, I'm going to be found guilty one way or another, it seems. Wouldn't it be sensible to plead guilty at this stage and hope for a more lenient sentence? Everyone keeps telling me that this trial is unusual, about these peculiarities. You've said it, Professor Mikotoba said it, and so has the judge and the prosecution, everyone! I'm, I'm scared of what lies ahead if I push this. As I said from the outset, I believe you're innocent, I trust you. And yet, despite knowing that, you're willing now to throw that trust back in my face? Is that it? What? If the accused is in fact innocent, then a defense lawyer is duty bound to prove that, the, that innocence by whatever means necessary. Are you just going to abandon that duty? Are you going to keep up on yourself? The battle hasn't even begun yet, Ryunosuke. Oh boy. The defense pleads not guilty, your excellency. We invite the prosecution to stop making empty threats and bring out its witnesses. Then we'll just see how decisive this evidence really is. <laughs> Direct challenge. Indeed. Prosecutor. Prosecutor Aoki. Please continue with proceedings. <laughs> well, you were warned. The gym can be so reckless. You know, many call me a saint, but I can be a devil when I want to be. I can be your angel or your devil. <laughs> <sighs> In a few short moments from now, that dumbstruck junk mouth of yours will be silenced forever. The persecution calls its next witness. Oh, plural, witnesses. Very well, officer. Bring forth the witnesses at once. Finally, some variation to these voices. It's not actually that uh, that easy to make Hosonaga and... and Kasuma sound different. Ah, witnesses! Kindly state your names and occupations for the court. Yes, sir! The great Nippon Imperial Army Sergeant a yes sir, no sir. Reporting for duty, sir. Yes, the point is yes sir, no sir. I know that is dumb, but it's there. Myself, I am finding... Oh god, I forgot how hard he is to voice. Or more to speak over him. Myself, I find the employee as a purveyor of fine articles of antiquity from the efflorescence of her nation, Nippon. 
and conduct my trade from Rasute, a humble premises in the second victories. Curio Korekuta at your service. Curio Recta. Curiosity Collector. <laughs> it took me like three days to realize that one. An antique dealer and a soldier. What an unusual pair. Part of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant on the day in question. There must be the diners at the other table that the waiter mentioned. Myself, I habitually take tea of the most exquisite aroma at the establishment in question, always post noon, and mentioning that tea actually made me remember my own tea. In a way, I guess you could also say that it's post noon, even if it's almost already night. I not infrequently converse with interested parties regarding the curious with which I make my businesses. I can understand that word that old man is saying, and the actual player is having trouble reading them. He's an antique dealer, and it sounds like he's a regular at La Carnival. He seeks out potential customers who may have an interest in antiques and tries to sell his words to them. He obviously targets La Carnival because it's a high-class restaurant with rich clientele. Right, I see. Also, to be honest, that sergeant looks more like he'd be a seller rather than a buyer. Now, you both witnesses witnessed the precise moment of this most atrocious incident. Is that correct? Affirmative! The enemy unit was seen attacking the foreigner in what can only be described as an act of war, sir! It was that black uniformed rogue infantryman over there who unloaded his firearms, sir! This man is as impossible to understand as the other. But I'm almost sure I heard a strange noise during the last thing he said. Oh, right, I'm sorry! Oh god, I forgot that because of my own voice. The sound mostly was. Obscured. So this is the decisive evidence the prosecution was threatening. The soldier is claiming that he actually saw the precise moment you shot the victim dead. Yes! Well, are you starting to feel uncomfortable? If I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable from the start. Now, the court will hear your formal testimony, please. You, you will state everything you saw at the precise moment that the incident occurred. Yes, sir! Standing! I actually was able to stop myself before that sounded. Standing by, ready to report, sir! Hmm. We separate the memories of the most acerbic afternoon. What the witnesses saw. I wasn't just in a regulation beefsteak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden curio to the military gentleman. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's action with my own eyes. The black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian, and from the back, the guard lit a whistle. Oh god! I was on my knees and hands and knees investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious curio. Hmm. Well, so you, Sergeant Nosa. Well, so you, Sergeant Nosa, actually witnessed the vital moment. The vital moment. You saw the split second when the defendant fired the, we the weapon at the victim. Yes, sir! Affirmative, sir! The weak university got it, sir! The cruel and unforgivable enemy, sir! Sir! <laughs> what is he? <laughs> I still don't understand why he has a knife. I, I, I could understand that he was investigating the bottle, but investigating a knife in the middle of court? Really? No, oh, he seems to like it. What times we live in, when an English gentleman may be assailed in the broad light of day? But this is ridiculous! I didn't shoot anyone! Is that really true, Narujodo? Um, well, I guess. Is that really true, Rionos? Is that really true, Rionosuke? 
Yes, all I did was pick up the gun when I saw flying on the line on the floor. This is starting to be very hard, even though there are so few witnesses. After I said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and sat drinking some coffee. Then when I finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant. When I noticed an English maid gone next to the chair where the professor was sitting. Love this song. I thought perhaps the professor had dropped it. So I bent down and just as I was picking it up... Bang! Well, if that's the truth, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. <laughs> yes, Alexis, the Joker special. B button. <laughs> and somewhere in these two witnesses' testimonies, there's a clue as to who that criminal was. There is? Grianoski, you must exercise your right to cross examine cross examine the witnesses. Cross examine? Do it now! As we have heard, Your Excellency, there is no room for doubt in this testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty! It is time to bring the despicable guest down to justice! Certainly, the testimony the court has just heard eliminates any vestige of doubt. Wow, that is incredibly simple. Therefore, it is my grave duty to declare the yes. verdict of... What? Um... What in the name of the Emperor is the meaning of this outburst? I am... Um, I am... Um, uh, uh, the, the, the defense... Demands its right to a cross-examination! Dear me, dear me! Let me guess! The Hachimaki headband boy next door to me, next door told me to do it. How pathetic! I mean, to be fair. Huh? How did he know? The persecution of chicks! This is clearly a waste of time! The defendant obviously has no experience. How could he possibly carry it out cross examination? Objection! The defense is asserting its right to a cross examination! Whatever or not you think he's capable of it, it's irrelevant! <laughs> I had to do it, sorry. <laughs> Kasuma is so commanding, and so handsome, and I like him, and he's my best friend, and... <laughs> Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross-examination of the witnesses. Alright, this is where their battle really begins, new... This is where the battle really begins, Rinosuke. But I don't even know what I have to do in a cross-examination. Isn't it obvious? You have to expose the lies in the witness's statements. Ow! You didn't fire the gun. Which means that what, what that soldier said has to be a lie. Well, yes, but it's just a case of proving it. And the key to doing that is evidence. Right, evidence. 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 All you need to do is present some evidence, and indisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. Now let's go, Ryonosuke! Don't let them beat you! <laughs> that is the most manly one in the world, right? Alright then, it's all or nothing. I really like how he's just sound like... The other one sounds like... And the other one's like... <laughs> what the witnesses saw. Okay, this is the same dialogue as before, so... Let's start pressing. Yes! Um. <laughs> Why? Why are you saying anything? Is this some kind... some new interrogation technique? Uh, I hadn't actually thought of what I wanted to ask. Just ask about anything that catches your attention, anything that bothers you. Oh, all right then. Um, <laughs> this mistake you mentioned. What kind of food is that? 
Then some. Ah! Beef steak is a most delicious cut of beef. Beef with the cock and uh, big. <laughs> this is so fast to say. Beef with the cock and a cast of iron grill with sir and peeping hot. Oh, if food could receive medals of honor, beef steak would. <laughs> if food could receive medals of honor, beef steak would be almost as highly decorated as a cutlet. Right, I see. Um, thank you, sir. So, next question. I'm gonna raise my hand to ask for permission to the professor. Teacher, I wanna ask a question to the witness, can I? <laughs> this cuddly you mentioned, what kind of food is that? Tension! Cutlass is a delicious cut of peeled toast in breadcrumbs and deep fried in cooking oil. Accept your guilty verdict, atone for your crimes, and when you're released from prison, try it! Yes, sir! I will, sir! On the table, sir! Sorry to interrupt, but... How about trying to stick to questions that are relevant to the actual case, you moron? Sorry, I'll do my best! So, next question... Teacher, can I ask it, please? Is it just me, or do you keep hearing a sort of work? Negative! <laughs> a sort of wah crying noise. Well, at least we've learned that he's a big beef lover. Affirmative. It's not easy knowing what questions to ask. God, but I have the feeling that you should have asked what is a beef steak? A steak. <laughs> oh god. I need to write this one. What is a steak? <laughs> yes! I have no idea what you're talking about. A coban, boy. A coban? You mean an old Edo coin? The day prior to the incident, a treasure of exceptional value from the Hawaii period entered my position. I took myself to the restaurant the following day with said item secreted in my bosom pocket. In the hope of an affluent cognoscent... In the hope of an affluent cognoscent... Cognoscente. Cognoscente? I'm pretty sure that that is not how you say it. A praise of its indi indisputable value being present. So, you were hoping to sell your common coin? You said you know someone who you just met at the restaurant? Yes, yes, it's quite clear where you're going with this boy. You are about to say that a penniless soldier would not have no hope of purchasing a precious coven. Isn't that so? Um, well... You little upstart carrot! You want to add disrespecting a superior officer to your list of crimes, do you? I wanna hear the baby. Right and subordination! No, 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 I didn't say anything. Although penniless might be just the word I was looking for. <laughs> In any case, the hour was already advanced beyond that of the midday luncheon. There remain precious few present with whom I could engage in discourse about matters of business. The gentleman aside me, who was grappling with his praise bill at the time, was my sole prospect. I see. At that precise moment, a fireman was discharged. I observed the enemy factions with my own eyes. Oh, right. That's actually something that he already. Oh, God, I've been jumping around. There it is. Yes! So, you're saying that you actually saw me at the time? Affirmative! I saw you! Nothing! Cackling! Let your mouth manager trade the barrel of your gun at the English civilian! Wow. <laughs> but that's not impossible! I, I only... Allow me to confirm just one point, please. What's that, Robert? Thinking carefully about the statement you just made, it seems to me that it must have been just after you hear the gunshot that you look over to the victim's table. And so what if it was? 
Well, if that really is the case, it will mean that you didn't in fact see the precise moment when the killer actually fired the gun. And the second point, why did you look that way? Man, tell us. Arr! And double R! And double R! My six cents! Uh, sorry? Six cents of danger! I pick up the waves of murderous energy radiating from your mobile mind! Which means... A split second before you pull the trigger, I was looking right at you, cut it! Surely that's not really possible, is it? <laughs> there it is. Do you think I'd have gotten where I am today in the army if I couldn't send danger in the air, son? Well... It would seem that this soldier is absolutely convinced that he saw you do the deed. This is not good. A black uniform varsity cut fire on the English gun civilian. And from the back, the car heard li the car the little whistle. Yes! Um, so this black uniform university cadet, you're saying that was... Ah! I've had just about enough of your sauce, cadet! Who else do you see around here in that black uniform, hmm? Well, there's someone standing right next to me who fits the bill, who fits the description as well, but let's not bring that up for now. It's you, little whistle! Uh-oh. You loaded the fire on that man from behind his back, and you called yourself a citizen of the Great Empire of Nippon? You disgust me! What is it, Ryunosuke? I'm... I'm not quite sure. It's something that the Serbian just said. But I can put my finger on it. Something's laying on my mind. Thank you, Elu! I have another like here! <laughs> in that case, check back over the details of the evidence you've gathered in the court record. And if you find an inconsistency there with what the witness just said, then don't hold back! Present the evidence to the court, thrust it in the witness's face and make him choke on it! <laughs> of course I will. Uh, you know that I love this game. This is the first case. And even though right now it's, it's still kinda slow, it gets incredibly crazy very fast after a certain point. I was on my hands and knees investigating his work. The whereabouts of my mysterious absconded precious Curio. Yes! Curio Correcta. On your hands and knees? Um, could you explain that, please? That's right. Turning the arthritis I was in order to retrieve the lost piece. It's actually, I, I had an older kind of boy with that. What lost piece are you referring to? The Coban, of course! The exquisite horror era Coban coin! I had just been showing the rare treasure to the military man as he masticated his meat. Masticated? Oh my god! After a bird in my eyes for the briefest moments, was there no more? It simply vanished! The command vanished? Hence I began to acquaint myself with the intricacies of the floor in order to locate it, and then it happened. Hmm, you heard the gunshot, you mean? No other death! Though it was no concern of mine. I was frantically, frantically scoring the floor for the aforementioned lost treasure. So in fact, you didn't actually witness the precise moment when the incident occurred? Indeed, myself, I did not. Uh, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I do. I mean, the, to be honest, that was kind of obvious. Even for the for the first seven is in the case. Listen, Renoske. We know there are lies lurking in these statements. It's time to expose them. 
I understand that. The question is, how? Like I said before, the key to this key is using evidence that you've collected. You can examine and present evidence while a witness is giving testimony by pressing R. Go through each witness statement and the details about each piece of evidence and compare all the facts. Somewhere in there, you'll find something that doesn't add up. In other words, an inconsistency. Inconsistency? When you find a statement and a piece of evidence that seem to contradict each other, present your evidence with X and rip the witnesses apart. Wow, that's simple. Just be careful, because if you assert a contradiction that has no basis, you'll be given a penalty. If you're dealt too many penalties, the defense case will fall apart and you'll receive a guilty verdict. So basically, make so many mistakes, you dead, you dead boy. You dead. Probably capital punishment. Maybe the gallows. Ah, oh, the gallows. That's horrible. So that's it. Reuse the evidence in the court record and find an inconsistency with a witness statement. The gallows on la orca. To the non-English speaking, because I know that gallows is not a word that we use too much. Basically, it's... <laughs> Alright. I'll give it a try. You can hear the witness statement over and over again as many times as you like, and this is already starting to be very complicated, especially because we already have seen this. So keep your head and be measuring your attack. Good luck, partner. Okay, so simple as this. The black uniform varsity cadet fired on the English civilian, and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Let's check the picture, shall we? Does this look like the back to you? Like, for real? I mean, these buttons... Uh, have you ever seen somebody with the nose from the back part? We already know the answer. So let's do this. Oh, by the way, the waiter's business card. The head waiter's business card. A sketch of the restaurant layer on the back. Yes! <laughs> um... Um. Um. What? What are you playing at, Cadet? What is the meaning of this sovereign nation? Crossing some photographic print in my mustache. I mean, I know that this is limited to the game's mechanics and graphics, because as you know, this is a 3DS game instead of an actual Switch game. And also, there's actually times where they can make this animation. So this makes me think that he's actually doing this. Look at this! Like. Uh, let me let me show what I mean. There it is. Like, look at this. Oh, okay. I, I can't even look at a thing that's like this so clearly. Look at the picture. Okay. I, 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 there's there's nothing else in my eyesight, so it's this. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the game. In, in, inconsistency, sir. I mean, I mean, yes. There's a clear inconsistency here! Tch, what nonsense! What can this print possibly tell us that we don't already know? Well, obviously that, um, I know what I want to say, but the words just come out of my mouth. Hmm, I think this press be channeled out, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an amateur student here in this crowd courtroom. Hmm... Uh, this is so frustrating! Oh, please! <laughs> Surely this doesn't require an explanation, it couldn't be more plain! To spell it out would be an insult to the court! Kasuma, what? you talking about? It's apparent from a single glance at the photographic print presented by the defense that there's a clear discrepancy here with the surgeon's statement. What? He has the actual objection voice and everything. I'm just saying yes and raising my hand as if I was a little boy. Surgeon Ayesanosa. Yes, sir. What is, sir? 
The statement you just made was this. The black uniform parsity cadet fire on the English civilian, and from the back, the curved little whistle. Yes, sir! Affirmative, sir! I witnessed a crime with my own military great eye, sir! Yes! But no! That just can be! And why not, cadet? Because. 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 Take a close look at the print. <laughs> help me, Kazuma! Please help me! The victim, Dr. Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet wound to the chest. Ah! Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, man. Well, uh... <laughs> the baby! The baby! The baby! The baby! <laughs> uh, well, um... What the... What was that? He just popped out from behind his back, but he pushed it down again. Certainly, there's a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Would you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? Uh, you know... Uh, yes, sir. No, sir. That's my name. <laughs> At this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. Until the moment I heard the firearm discharged. My arms... My eyes were... Oh, the baby. That's a very beautiful smile. Firm the face on the delicious little carnival sticks, sir. The last testimony the court heard has proven one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant E. Snosa, did not see the defendant firing a gun at all! Yeah, that's... that's absurd! I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. Nobody saw me do it. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom! Hey, hey, karma! Yeah! Wait, 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 it was a key, it was a <laughs> There's been a complete turnabout in the mood of this trial, just from that one discrepancy. So this is what being a nice attorney eh, 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 is all about. But I definitely saw him. That university got it there! He was pointing the farm directly at the victim's back! Yes! Yes, I did it! <laughs> Basically, I'm pretty sure that the original was high, which is similar in a way, but it also can mean wait, no, yes, everything. But I guess they just translated as yes! But I never fired the gun! All I did was pick it up the floor! Hmm. And you, old man. You didn't see the moment the victim was shot either. Myself, I have already been quite clear. The gunshot interested me not. It was far too busy on the floor. Oh yes, you were looking for your command coin, weren't you? Indeed! The prize Hoi Korak Hera coin. Hunting around the ta around under the table, it was in case Hunting around under the table, I was, in case may have it had fallen there, then it happened. You you heard the gunshot, you mean? Indeed I did, but I heeded it not, for I was only concerned with finding my absconded hoy treasure. <laughs> Nothing could distract me. Wow. Just realize how sick that is. Out of interest, did you find the coin in the end? No, I did not. Hmm, I see. That lamentable day, the precious Hoi Koman was lost to me. No doubt, some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the coin, the prize coin for himself. 
<laughs> I like how you live in looks away. It's it's extremely obvious. It's you, isn't it, Nosa? It's you, right? As I'm sure everyone present is aware. <laughs> hey, I got another share? Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Alexis Armendariz in this case. As you know, I am reviewing case number one again. I know the story. You know the story of this case. Some of the people that would like to watch this do not. So basically, that's the reason I'm doing it again. I'm about to enter into case four after I finish case one. But I started streaming after I finished case one. How are you doing again? <laughs> yes, it's absolutely... Wait, wait, wait. Yes! It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> This case demands a swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how subservient our government feels it must be to the British. It will be unforgivable to deliver a victory on this trial right now. Wow, wow, just calm down, Kazuma. I know this is cool and everything. But is this normally how I'm supposed to behave in court? I don't know. Hmm. What is your position, Prosecutor Auchi? <laughs> Why not, Your Excellency? The defendant may have played a tiger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. Basically, it means we're cornered. My witnesses have further testimony to make. Let's play. Upon hearing the next statements, it will become abundant, abund abundantly clear that there is only one person who could have possibly committed this despicable crime. The equally despicable defendant, Bionosuke Naruhodo. What? He seem really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? Uh, I didn't do anything to him. Very, very well. The court invites the witnesses to testify again. You will truly explain the reasoning behind the prosecution's allegations. Is that clear? As clear as Kiriko Glass, Your Excellency. Yes, sir! At once, sir! I'm waiting sign to testify, sir! Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Um... Excuse me, but there's something or someone peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative! The newest member of the Nosa family to rise up through the ranks, sir. Name Ida. I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. <laughs> it would seem those straps are a sign of the surgeon being too strapped for the nanny. Ida. Damn shit! Your father is about to quell the enemy! <laughs> Your father is about to quell the enemy! What shall learn, my boy? Yeah, 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 baby. <laughs> Witness testimony, the true culprit. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing! Yes! One thing he's gone at the foreign man he was, that John lad in black, that much I myself see. Furthermore, a missile search of the premises at the time confirmed that there were we, we were the only personnel present. Oh boy, here we go. Indeed, alone he was the, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the word uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman. Over and out. Hi, baby. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome. And I know that it sounds kind of odd. But there's actually a moment when Phoenix Wright says that. Just because I cannot yes. resist. Oh god, I should have. Hmm. These testimonies are certainly compelling. Yes. Wait, that's that's nonsense. The victim, Doctor Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Attorney, there it is. <laughs> I am gonna have to download this one for the future. Oh, I cannot use it here. Oh well.
I'll show it later. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all! Please, enough of this outburst already! But there was a woman! There was a young woman at his table! You must have seen her! Everyone, everyone there must have seen her! Attention! If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly! We are not here to listen to your fantasies! <sighs> it is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. I bit my tongue. Ow. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Is this a photo? Is this a photographic print of the scene of the crime, counsel? Indeed, or the tape of the table at which the victim was standing. He came by an investigator immediately after the incident. Hmm. As can plainly be seen, there is only one place set. Certainly, based on the appearances of this print, it would be reasonable to all conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Uh, this doesn't make any sense. The car will add this new photographic evidence to the core record. A bottle of carbonated water at the steak lunch can be seen on the victim's table. Hmm... I don't understand! What's going on here? It's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman! The waiter before said the same thing. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true! I saw her! I swear that I saw a woman with him! It would seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. The witnesses' testimonies we have just heard leave no further room for doubt. There are these are very sensitive political times as we all know. Ink is still fresh after the treaty with Great Britain. I need a bigger fan. The thing that I think it's such an ouch will have contributed to the amity of these two great empires. It's an honor. How can this be happening? The just is ready to roll! Then tall, Rinosuke! It's not over yet! What? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. Now is your chance to expose it, to draw the truth in your cross-examination. I don't know, Kazuma. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witness, but make it quick, understood. Heh, <laughs> rules can be some bending at times. Uh, God, I hate, I hate this pain. It's not the pain that I hate at the most, but I definitely hate this one. I think it's... Out of the pains that I have dealt with, the one that I hated the most was Spirit of Justice from Ace Attorney 6. After that, what he did on Ace Attorney... what they did in Ace Attorney 5, and then 3. But I feel like this one is a, a third case, or most annoying pain in the series. The true culprit. We already have heard it, so I'm just gonna press. Yes! <laughs> no, 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 no! It's not the same thing at all! For a start, I didn't fire that gun! We have a difference of opinion on that! The opinion of an uniformed officer versus that of a functioning captain! Um, I don't think so. Consider on this, defendant! Just a moment ago, I blinked! God, I hate this one. Um, did you? Did you see it? Did you see me blink? How could I? And yet, it's an undeniable fact that I did blink. So there you have it. Uh, have uh, what? Tension! The sound of a fire rang in my ears at the very next moment. I saw you waving the gun at the Englishman. 
I think that says it all, don't you? Ugh. And let us not forget that the antique dealer witnessed the accused in this most incriminating position as well! Isn't that so correct, Tassan? Hmm... He yes. was pointing the gun, indeed! Yes, it may be true that I was holding the gun at that point in time! But I told you already! That's only because I picked it up the floor! Well, obviously, as a culprit, that's the only way you could explain it away. I had just finished drinking my coffee, and I was about to leave the restaurant when... <sighs> I noticed a gun on the floor at Dr. Wilson's feet, so I picked it up. And at exactly that moment... Ugh. A gunshot rang in my ears. Hmm. All events in beyond our control life is. Sorry? What do you mean? How do you even pronounce it that way? Are you Jora? Jora is actually a human? God, I I hate that guy. It's so hard to read, I keep tripping over my own words. In your case, you found a pistol on the floor and picked it up, which precipitated this testing predicament. Whereas conversely, I failed to pick up the command from the floor, and I find myself in an equally testing predicament as a result. He's only carrying about his fucking... the freaking con. Anyway, the fact remains myself, I did see you. With a pistol in hand, standing over the foreigner. Hmm... Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that, there were, that we were the only personnel present. Oops. Yes! I was not supposed to read that one again. You must have noticed someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there! Attention! As you have been at pains to point out time and time again, I feel I'm prone to colors in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman! Uh, if only there had been more people dying there at the time, then someone else would have noticed her. Unfortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. The quiet time between lunch and dinner in any restaurant, at least in that time. I am absolutely sure that at this time, um, there will be a lot of people in the restaurant anyway. 2 p.m. is not exactly that late for having a meal or something. I know, of course the place was almost empty. It's what you'd expect. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of time to eat. I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at the time of the day, and why it was he was alone. Yes, Your Excellency, there was indeed a reason. There was? This was found in the victim's jacket, um, in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, Council? It is a medical report card, Your Excellency. I need my tea. This is starting to hurt. Pain is not a decent voice. But at least it's better than some of the other guys. Ah, uh, not bad. It is a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at the clinic prior to visiting the victim the, the restaurant. Hmm, or a clinic. Yes, there would indeed appear to be an entry for the dead question. This is just, this is funny. I seem to remember. I wonder if Hottie Clinic from the original series is actually named like that. Hottie Clinic. It doesn't have an original name over there. No, it's actually Hora Clinic! It's the same clinic! <laughs> okay, so basically, it seems that the Hori Clinic from Case... It seems that Hori Clinic from the original series was actually the same as the Hora Clinic from this series. 
I, I, I could do that, but the game actually doesn't have it in English. Podría hacer eso, pero el juego en sí no te muestra el texto en español. Tendré que estarlo traduciendo mientras lo leo, y eso es muy, muy difícil. Pero lo siento. Eso es lo pesado de esta situación. Okay, let's keep going because that tea was actually very good for me. 19 November, noon to past one, noon to past 1 p.m. Hmm, the very day of the incident. So the big team went for a, for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation could be, couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder... What do you think, Ryunosuke? Hmm... Well, it is hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember, you can request for it to be entered into the car record as evidence if you think it could be useful. Did I ask for Dr. Wilson's medical report card to be submitted as evidence or not? I mean, why not? Yes! Um, uh, if I may, I'd like to ask for that medical report card to be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. On what grounds? Hmm... The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be... extraneous. Not to mention that the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurant are of no concern. OBJECTION! Whether or not they are of no concern is up to us to decide. You have no right. We have a right to explore all possible avenues. I I beg your pardon. What? Right? You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for the submission of evidence. Very well. The court will grant the defense's request. <sighs> Youngster, these days are forever asserting their rights. It's a most disturbing trend. Oh, wow! <laughs> You're a trumper. Okay, got it. Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. What we need right now is new clues. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. You can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you like, but it's the day after the festival already for you. Or perhaps you're forgotten. This witness's account, this witness's testimonies, leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate for the accused, correct, son. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman dining all by himself. Yes! No, 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 I hate, I hate that he suggests for that. But you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, Daniel alone. That I did. Forgive me for the position I placed you in. So the testimonies of the old man, the soldier, and the waiter all agree on that point. Isn't that interesting? And let us not forget... And there's some evidence we have to support their statement as well. As can clearly be seen, there is only one sing a single beef steak on the victim's table. I mean, for one. No. The antique stealer, the surgeon, and the waiter who testified before. It's not impossible that they're all lying. But if so, why? If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. Therefore, none other than you could have done that. Yes! You moron. Why aren't you telling the truth? What? What did you say, cadet? I clearly remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Professor? <laughs> Wrong serious. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion? It's just not possible! Dot dot dot. 
unfortunately for you, Defender Naruto, although it's not just a case of these two witnesses alone. Sorry? The waiter, whose testimony the court heard earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said that the victim was alone. That's right! Precisely! In other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, 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 but I... If such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof! Bang! And if no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. Is that not... Is this a play to the waste of the court's time? There's nothing I can say to that. <laughs> Excellent work, you know, Skid. We need some new information now. Well, yes, but I don't feel like it changes much. I can see that it brings any real discrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see that medical report card you got before. Oh, you mean this? Yes. This is a brand new... This is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine it, examine it in a little more detail. How exactly? You'll notice that some pieces of evidence, painters that magnifying glass, these are the ones that you may examine. Ex ex examine. Press and you can take a closer look at the piece of question. Press up, round, left, and right. Spin it around, like the speed of sound. To rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles. Are you seeing those directions? From the other one, I guess. You can move the crosshairs around to hunt for clues that may have been missed before. If the crosshairs start to pulsate, press A to investigate further. So, partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there isn't something new to be learned by it in more detail. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I need to use blah 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 to speak areas that look suspicious. Okay. That was very annoying. But I've had the feeling that this is the last. Yeah, this is actually the last tutorial for a while. I'm pretty sure for this case. Okay, so this is a medical report required for every visit. I can't find anything out of place. Oh, wait, I, I wasn't actually aiming for anything. Okay, here. Name Mr. John Wilson, Hora Clinic. It says Hora Clinic on this medical report card. I hate clinics almost as much as I hate hospitals and surgeries. Aren't they all the same? When I was five, I caught the only cold I've ever had in my life. And I remember, even though I felt awful already, I had to have this hideous injection in my right arm. Oh boy, did you like your vaccine, everybody? Ugh, I'll never forget it. Never in my whole life. Hey, Elio, this is. I have the feeling that this is some some kind of guy that kind of gets your taste in vaccines. Ooh. Most people could keep their right arm to have only had a one call in their entire life. Anyway, I don't think this is a clinic where they treat people who heal illnesses like that. Let's get looking for clues. We don't want to miss anything. Okay. Let's go back. It looks like this medical report card was first issued some time ago. It's probably a record of long-term treatment, that's why, with a family doctor, I imagine. Well, I can't imagine going to a doctor, I mean. As long as I'm alive, I never consulting one. Well, if you were dead, there'd be no point. Well, you like... You don't like doctors, then? Why would you? They make you drink horrible tasting medicine, they give you painful injections, and then they demand lots of money from, from you for the privilege. All when you are at your lowest... Your lowest F? What's an F? You sound like a mortal patient. With a bad case of stubborn and no less, for which the only cure is bitter, very bitter medicine. But it says dentist. This is interesting.
Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. Uh, and there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? It would seem so. Just before the incident, he had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they used laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Did we even improve something? Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. Although it's hard to believe that there's anything that can actually stop you from feeling pain. Oh, there's a cash and a note from the medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post procedure until anesthetic effects have passed. Really? Sounds like information we're bearing in mind. <laughs> this is important. This new information, the meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time we listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely. I mean, since we're already here, how about we also investigate everything? Ah, the symbol of Jumei University. Every student wears this pin with pride. It's funny, but most emblems seem to be either round or rectangular. I like this spike design, even though it doesn't really make any sense. Although it does cause problems. Lots of students end up cutting their fingers on their badges. Perhaps it's what the idea of one of the founders. A sharp pin for a sharp man or something. Yeah. My personal student number is engraved on the back here. Is 901. If you lose your pin, they won't accept you as a Jumei student at a time. You may not come in, they say. Of course, you can get a new pin made if you can't just tell them by your number. I actually lost mine twice already. But I still don't know my student number by heart. Come on, it's just 901! <sighs> Always say to myself, I mustn't forget to write it down somewhere. And then I forget not to forget. And then I forget not to forget, not to forget, not to forget, not to forget. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's the same dialogue as before. I cannot investigate this one. I can investigate this one, but not spin it. There it is. This plan of the restaurant raises a number of questions, I think. Definitely! It's supposed to show the relative position of everything in the moments following the incident. But there's nothing to show the woman you saw you, you say you saw there. Exactly, that's not all. Look here in the upper left, where it says kitchen. Hmm? Oh, yes, what if it? No one would use those complicated characters to write kitchen, especially not if they were in a hurry. You mean you don't remember those characters yourself, don't you? Very hard, Rinosuke. There it is. Here's where they claim that he was eating alone, but there's a problem. Ow! Cannot even eat. Yes! Um, uh, er, uh, well, I think, um, about what you are, aren't you whispering, la? Call yourself a lawyer? I wish I could. First and foremost, I am the cute. Ryonosuke. Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under their circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kasuma. You could see it quite clearly in that cross-examination you just carried out. When you raise your hand straight up like that, so per per purposefully, you knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. Don't feel like you have to choose your own words carefully. You say what you're thinking. Alright. And thanks for the advice. Here we go. Take a breather. Correct, son. This is a medical report belonging to the victim. Oh boy, this is the first time that we hear logic and tricks. That music is just so relaxing. Oh, I see. And I don't see. What of it, boy? 
Comparing what is written in this report card with your witness testimony, a statement, <laughs> something clearly doesn't add up. Attention! Dear me, dear me, have you forgotten my words or soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to enter the court proceedings with your amateurish dribble. But, but... Let's see if I can explain in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may not have done before that, I'm... is completely irrelevant. Nope, it's not. But, but that's, um... Remember, Ryanosuke, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe you'll finish here. There is certainly nothing to prolong this trial further. Hmm. The witness's testimony the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report has no bearing on the matter at all, for the simple reason that there is no one else besides the spare few people who could possibly... This medical report has nothing to do with the case? Do you really believe that? What? That almost half petrified me, boy! Of course I believe it! How could it possibly be relevant? I like how this one, when he's so sure, he's so angry and annoyed that he's not even being allowed to talk. This is the actual time where his desk slam actually makes a booming noise. It's like tied to his conviction, confidence. I love it. I, I just love it. Perhaps because Hora Clinic, which issued the report, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just a tooth extracted? What's this now? And furthermore, If I told you that as a result, the victim had been forbidden from eating. Just, just what are you trying to say, Karet? He had orders not to eat? So what? It's all run up here. No food or drink other than water for three hours post procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that, that can't... Correct, Asan! What, boy? What? As you just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No! Additionally, there, there's more? You have assured the court with unwavering and self confidence that the victim was dining alone. Oh boy! <laughs> there it is, that booming noise. But that cannot possibly be the case! Because the victim, as we now know, had just one tooth had just one of his tooth extracted and was still experiencing the effects of the anesthetic. Expertly done, partner! And that is how you corner people. What? What is it? What is this nonsense? You little absurd! These are baseless accusations! Just look at this photographic evidence! You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's table! Objection. Let's stop this! Use your head! That's the very discrepancy we're talking about! Or can you follow the logic? Uh oh. Now, how dare you! I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant case have turned! Oh, 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 Wouldn't you agree, Ryanosuke? Uh, 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 yes! Most definitely! So, having just undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Who, in fact, was eating the picture of Beefsteak? The court will hear the opinion of the defense in this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. Counsel? Oh, that's, that's me, right? Doesn't it? Alright, the answer to this question is going to be pivotal. 
This is the start of your turn in this trial round. Show them what you're made of! Got it! So, um... The person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been... <laughs> I would like to meme, but this is clearly already at the point where I can get damaged. Obviously, it can only have been someone else who was sitting at the professor's table! Objection! You will not let this go, will you? There was no such person! Yes. There was! Because I saw her! When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on his table. It's not only that it, it was ordered by mistake, it was actually eaten! Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else there eating it! We have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that the witness testimony, that this witness's testimony are unreliable. If the court decides to push through our ruling at this stage, we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fairy trial relentlessly! Kasuma! Are you insane? You, you would take up the government? Don't worry, Council. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them! Those two witnesses understand! What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So if it now turns out that the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Perjury? And... Since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in the killing. A complicit? In murder? No! No! Oh boy, oh boy! I like how this is the first time that the perjury in the car has actually been called in quite a long time. Perjury is so, so rarely put it in the eyes of turning serious. Everybody just comes, makes it a bunch of lies, then eventually he gets let go or something. Negative! Negative! There, there was no mention of this at the technical meeting! But we just followed orders! That's right! As the man says! Just say you never saw the gentlewoman! That's what they uh, uh, told us! Oh! What? What did you say, Konotasan? No! You were just following orders? No, hold on there. I was, um, um... Say you never saw the gentlewoman? Uh, when you say gentlewoman, do you mean... You saw the victim with a lady from overseas? Oh boy! The foreigner. She's a foreigner, that makes so much sense. What? Objection! What is the meaning of all of this? These witnesses have gave false testimonies? Is this true, you pair? Uh, just one... Just one simple lie! Just one simple slip of the dog! Order, order, council, explain what is going here! It's painfully clear now! You try to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth! Absolutely not! The prosecution knows nothing of this! <laughs> then who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your more mouth shut? Well, um... Well... Um... That's classified! So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You... you... you wouldn't! This... this can't be happening! Bionoski... Judging from the way they reach into this, and see they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. However, I don't believe Auchi had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there are only a handful of possibilities. It only have been the government, the military, or the police, I suppose. Well? 
Okay, we have Kasuma. You can make a Toba. Kanda. Fishes. Taturo Hosunaga. The waiter. Yes, I know, Sad. Of course, they said no, these two are not them. There are actually very little possibilities. It's actually surprising that it took me a while to understand in the first time. So, remember this business card? Well, that's unexpected. What is? Dude, do you see it? It says the witness's name here? Saturo Hosonaga? Well, yes, business cards tend to show the person's name. That's sort of the point. And it's not the name, it's not the name that's unexpected. It's his job title. His job? Oh! Chief Inspector Hotsataru Hosonaga, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau! Sonaga is from the police. Inspector? What on earth? I have no idea. But let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence. If they're wielding it somehow, well, somehow here, it states that Hosonaga is a police inspector. Why was this important? Because we need to know who actually silences guys. Well. Any ideas who might have who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. So we need to name whoever it was that tried to make the witnesses keep their mouths shut. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusation. I wonder if that card that you just were flipping around actually means something. Evidence that proves whoever it was it was really did with his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly? Remember how we made progress before? Before? We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. Oh yes, that's right! Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we've missed. There's no time to lose! Actually, I got caught here by mistake the first time that I played this because when I had to get the answer, they didn't allow me to open the core record, so I didn't actually find the card. What answers? If it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you the penalty will be severe. Please, wait! Your Excellency! I have no idea about any of this. I swear to every shit to God. I knew nothing. And what does the defense have to say about all of this? Um, well, Your Excellency. Uh, no time to think. Just gonna go, I'm just going to have to close my eyes and shout out the first name that comes into my head. Besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses is... Yes! Well, surely that would be... Satoru Hosonaga-san! Hosonaga-san? The waiter who took the stand earlier? Objection! Poppycock! <laughs> Poppycock! Who says Poppycock? What possible reason would the waiter have to make these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even her a hate waiter could not have possibly had that kind of influence. For once, I agree with you. If, that is, the man truly were a waiter. What? If it truly were? Come on, Ryunosuke! Time to hit this core with the truth! The truth about Satoru Hosonaga's real identity, as proven by this evidence! Yes! The plan of the restaurant sketch by the man in question. Hmm. I agree it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we can conclude anything. Sorry, Your Excellency. That's the back of the car. It's the back of the back of the car that's of interest. I beg your pardon? Or uh, uh, perhaps I should have said the front? Yes! It's the front of the back of the car! That's where the tail in detail is! I cannot believe how hard that was to say. Just flip it around, man! Would somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? Osonaga san sketched the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. The front of that business card revealed the man in custom's profession, his true profession. Better's profession? 
But that's surely... Good gracious! That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads Chief Inspector Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. What? The winner is a police detective? What? I haven't heard any of this uh, mention of this before. I haven't been heard any mention of this before. The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power. Absolute power as far as regular civilians are concerned. Two witnesses, two witnesses there in the stand. Yes, yeah, I guess. Was it in fact the waiter who gave you your orders? Or was it he who told you not to mention that you'd seen this foreign gentlewoman at the scene? Um, well... Mm. Hold it! Oh, Inspector Hosanaga has come back to the stand. I was worried something like this may happen. The moment you asked me to submit my evidence, my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a possibility. The court will take this man, plan, and edit the court record as evidence. Oh, um, well, is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Uh, of course you are, and this is where everything becomes crazy. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. I strive to carry all, all investigation flawlessly. He's my guide and principal. Wow, he's honorable, but he's still... I know, if there's something very, very bad here. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unusually careless mistake. So, you mean to say, you really are a detective? But why would a detective be working as a restaurant waiter? Ah, of course, your salary must be taken. I was working undercover! <laughs> I like this part. Undercover? And over the covers. Yes, there have been a series of incidents at the restaurant recently. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as waiter, working undercover. Incident at the restaurant? What kind of incidents? That would be classified police information, which I am not at liberty to divulge. Hmm. However, I can also I can state categorically that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Hmm. Very well then, Inspector Hosanaga. But you will elaborate on one point for the court. Of course, Your Excellency. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. That at the time of the shooting there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. If that is indeed true, clearly you would also have been aware of this person's interest, uh, person's presence, having served at the table in question. However, your testimony did not allude to this other diner, therefore I am led to assume that in your professional capacity as a police officer, you require these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? He's gonna die. Correct, Your Excellency. Dear Lord. Unbelievable! Hmm, as I suspected. Ooh. As soon as I heard the gunshot. I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair, and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim at the same at the same table when was a young woman, whom I guessed to be an English woman. So the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the bureau. It was then that I received some. Special orders. 
Special orders? You mean to say... Remove the English woman from the scene at once. It was made clear that the English woman present at the restaurant one... At the rest... At the restaurant one... Wow, wow, wow. At the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But... But what if this English woman was a killer? I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. <laughs> Dear Lord, the racism here is amazing. The Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. An English man has been murdered on our soil. So name an English woman as the primary suspect. Well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the phantom woman in this case. That explains quite a lot, but I mean, how didn't you notice her? But it's not right! And he's right. <laughs> hey, Maruko entered into the, into the stream and he's watching this case. I hope you enjoy it. I've been doing my best. One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kasuma? Yume University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain. And I'm fairly certain that one of them stood in the medical faculty research laboratory. It's a young English woman. What? You're a shrewd man. I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas tutor. You mean... When I removed the woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands that you name the lady in, quest in question at once, Inspector. The English woman sitting at the university's professor's table was certainly Miss Giselle Brett. This is one that I will explain later. She is indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory of Jumei University Medical Faculty. What? What is the happening here? I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I had I erased all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene and ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her of her in their testimonies. I didn't tell that to the baby, but the baby is not gonna talk. It must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with the situation. Here we go. Very well. My thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been underpinned by a particularly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dying alone. However, as we have now discovered that this premise is false, it would be a desecration of our justice system to ignore the truth and give a ruling at this point. Objection! <sighs> Guess what, Ochi? But, 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 your excellency! That would mean missing the noon deadline of a ruling in order to send a telegraphic report to Great Britain! Our government will surely be very displeased by such actions! Calm yourself, Council. I will not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceeding of my courtroom. The inspe Inspector Hosonaga. Yes, sir. You will okay this just celebrate and escort her to the courtroom with the utmost urgency. At once, Your Excellency. But, but that means you'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau! Uh, I choked myself at that moment. As I said before, it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. So it won't be a problem? <coughs> oh god, he's dying. <laughs> Nothing will get in my way. <laughs> Except maybe my coughing. You're gonna die. You're gonna die of tuberculosis. Your will adjourn briefly. Prosecution must call the English woman student 
you sell bread to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? Yes! Your Excellency! Good. Then we will have a third minute rest before recombining, and I need to recover out of that freaking shriek. Man, this council is horrible. Okay, we reach the to be continued. Since it's a mid uh, weekday, this is where we're gonna leave it. And yes, I will save my current projects, my process, um, my current progress on the second file. Okay, I need to get, I need to leave, I need to leave. Okay, here we go. Back to title. Go take. Yes. Okay, guys. This is still just the first part of the case. After this is where everything goes absolutely out of the window. For the first, uh, uh, to be fair, in the first place, the fact that Hosonaga is an inspector. Well, you already knew if you watched the second case since he appears on that one. But this is something that caught me completely off guard the first time. And to be fair, it was a nice surprise. It was a nice surprise the fact that after everything that happened, Ryanosuke was not wrong. And that we actually managed to go against the whole government, the police, and the two witnesses and the prosecution in order to bring out another witness. Let's see what happens, shall we? But for now, I think it would be nice to stop for here. It's late here and I have to work tomorrow. But I will try to make sure that I keep streaming this because I am actually having a lot of fun and I know that some people that I know have been actually watching this and learning the game from my own experience. It actually makes me happy. Very, very happy. So, I guess that, that's all for today. I will see you in the next card room case, but for now, well, take care. I hope you enjoyed the show. Take that. <laughs>